So, after a recent episode, I discovered weird stuff happening in the city. Basically, we added a biking network into a fully operational city and the outcome was, let's say, unexpected. If you want to check it out, I did put the link up there. Anyway, soon after I received this comment and personally, I also want to experiment a bit more with that save file. So this brings us to this video, where we will take measurements, change stuff and then measure again. For science! Hello peeps, Drogadeo, welcome to this experiment video. To start things off, we need to get the actual numbers. Okay, so traffic flow is at 84% right now. Our public transportation transports 7,500 citizens and 4,000 tourists right now. And about 1,900 people are cycling in the city. The city's main transportation hub transports 1,339 passengers in the last 10 minutes or last week. Now let's remove all the public transport that utilizes roads and then let the game run for a while and then we check again the numbers. Alright, over one year later, we are at 85% traffic flow, but you know, it always fluctuates a little, so I wouldn't overrate that. Right now our public transport is transporting 4,622 citizens and 4,268 tourists. So that's approximately two and a half thousand less citizens, but an additional 250 tourists. And the amount of cyclists declined by about 240. And our main transportation hub is transporting more people than before. Around not exactly 100, but a little bit more. We could debate about whether the lack of buses made people also not use their bikes anymore and in general people don't seem to reach public transport as easily as before. But then don't forget all of this should have caused an increase in car traffic, but our traffic flow percentage doesn't seem to care. I mean, if you really want to count that 1%, then actually traffic became better, which is why I don't think we can draw any conclusions from this and we pretty much observed the usual fluctuations. Now let's test another theory. I'm pretty much convinced that should we aim to raise the traffic flow percentage, then we would have to remove all this busy industry traffic. I mean, it is flowing, but at the same time, this is the only constantly red area in our city. Pretty much tanking the overall traffic flow percentage. Now, 
what would be the most stylish way to test the theory. See, it raised by 1%. <laughs> this single percent is again no real indicator. And as fun and satisfying this was, it is kind of counterproductive. So let's rather look for a solution that works long term. If you want to improve such traffic, look for opportunities where you could split part of the traffic of one road and give it a more direct route to another point it probably wants to go to. So I am studying this area here and I was thinking if we could take the traffic that just wants to pass through this junction from the right to the left and bring that over this junction, that would help. And the next junction here is also pretty busy. Eventually, if we build a bridge over there, also from this direction, this could really have an impact and improve traffic flow. Like this. Let's check that out. Ta-da! Now we're talking. Thanks for watching. I suggest you check out this video and we see each other next time. Bye!